Suddenly something fall down from the like maybe third floor and hit my head so I have a lot of blood here. I've got the same salary as local people, as Taiwanese people. Mm -hmm. It's 33,000 NT per month. So it's more than, yeah, it's more than 12 hours. What did you do if you felt tired? Well, uh, there is only one way to get rest during the job is to be a smoker. The guys who don't smoke, they they cannot to sit and rest for a while so probably per one day you need to have one box of cigarette so it seems like 20 times you can sit and smoke so it seems like 20 minutes of rest so if you don't smoke they won't let you rest you will just keep working you have no official reason to sit because the smoking is like a reason to take a break and do you smoke yeah do, originally i don't but because I'm really tired and I want to get rest, so I, I must smoke. I came from Russia, stay here around one year. Before I had a job like street musician, when all the situation with the virus starts, nobody expected that almost everyone lose their jobs. So I tried to, tried to find a way to figure out how to earn money here. Maybe one year ago, I was singing in Gaoshon, Chinese song, Yuelian Dai Bia Sing. Suddenly one woman with her husband, she stopped in the front of me. When I finished the, the performance, she just like applause, says it was, it was really good. And say like, in the case of emergency, if you don't have any job, if you have trouble, you can call me. Mm. Because I'm the head of the construction company here in Taiwan. It was before COVID, right? Yeah, it was one year before, a long time ago. Mm. And suddenly, like when the epidemic starts, I was like depressed, sitting alone and at, at my home. Pick up my cell phone and call, call, call her and she asked me to come the next day to the office mm. to discuss like what can I do, yeah. how can we work together. This company, they basically do framework design of buildings. And she said, my target is set up the form works. We have two different teams, so we need to work really quick. Like behind us, you can see the gray walls. So this is like uh, the final result of our job. This is not the usual job for foreigners in Taiwan, but you chose this one, like the most difficult, the hardest job. I had no choice. She said I can try one week and mm -hmm. if everything all right, we can keep going to work together because this is really hard job. There is almost no Taiwanese people. Most of the workers, they are from Vietnam. Oh, you are the only one foreigner there? Yeah, sure. And probably this wow, is like, this crazy. is the single, mm -hmm. the single episode in the history of whole Taiwan when the foreigner like me. What did your boss say when he saw you? The first question was like, do you know the, the Vietnamese language? Really? Yeah, because you, you need to communicate, you need to be a team, like you need to give different tools to each other. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese guys usually they cannot speak Chinese, they cannot speak English. So I usually use my cell phone, like I use Google Translate, what I need to do. Then I use speaker and I set up the speaker like that and they say something blah 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 and then they give me that kind of tool. You translated from Russian to Vietnamese? Yeah. Oh my god. Can you tell us what was the most dangerous thing at that construction site? Well, this kind of area probably the most dangerous place I ever been in my life. Really? Yeah. A lot of metal things mm -hmm. like on the floor, a lot of metal tubes. I saw a few really dangerous accidents during that job. One guy, he fell down from the second floor. Something happened with his leg, mm -hmm. then ambulance come and uh, may probably he break his leg because he even cannot move. Wow. Uh, what was the most dangerous for me? When we already like have a lunch break, we take off our helmets because it's prohibited to work don't wear the helmet yeah suddenly something fall down from the like maybe third floor and hit my head so I have a lot of blood here whoa and now everything recover so that's really dangerous place oh my to god be. you almost died there yeah I had a lot of blood it was so fast so I thought maybe something happened with my brain that's your own shit I could do some tests right yeah that's the, that's a test about the protection shoes you must wear the helmet firstly which I don't have today because yeah. because I already quit. 
So, and the second one is a special protection shoes. If somebody really heavy fall down, it shouldn't smash your bones. Okay, now we'll show you how it works. Let's go. So that's a special protection shoes. That, that kind of shoes every worker use on the construction area. They have a metal, the top of that shoes seems like metal. And the guys in the special store told me even if the car fall down on my on my feet, nothing happened. Car, Taiko Jungle. Yeah. Spirit number one, we are going to use this brick. This brick seems like three kilograms or two kilograms. Okay, let's be careful. One, two, three. Wow! Look at this. <laughs> Nothing happened. And now just like that. Test number two. What's that? Something really crazy. Seems like this thing this is around heavy. around 23 kilograms. Whoa! So you're going to throw this on your shoes? Yeah, I will. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I don't want to take you to, to the hospital, you know. <laughs> Let's try. Whoa. I'm a little bit afraid. You ready? Guys, you ready? Oh my God. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. One more time. Can we do a little bit higher? One, two, three. Bam. Whoa. Bam. You nothing hit happened. You hit it, nothing happened. Yeah, but, but the body reaction, you know. I'm yeah. Really, I'm a bit afraid. You see, guys, you can see this, right? Yeah. It's a tough thing. Oh. You hit it. Damn. Nothing happened. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> These shoes are <laughs> tough, man. I want the same. You're working under so extremely yeah. hot sun. Even I use this protection, uh, like long sleeve dress. Anyway, my skin become super super brown mm -hmm. and I just I want to, to show you like the difference between my original skin and between the skin I have right now so right now guys I would like to show you the difference between the skin I've got during this construction area job here we go okay, let's check so that's my original skin quite white and that's the skin I've got right now yeah it's a big difference yeah wow. seems like really brown different colors how long did you work there that's really really long day you need to come to the office uh, around 6 40 a.m. Uh, it would be special bus like all the workers take on that bus then around 1 hour 20 minutes from office to the construction area mm -hmm. and the same time to return mm -hmm. nobody pay you for that time so mm -hmm. probably around three hours per day you just waste for transportation the working day starts at 8 till 12 at 12 you have one hour break the boss offer you free meal mm -hmm. it's like being done uh -huh. very delicious sometimes uh, you have some kind of ushe lan tea it's like a bonus uh, mm -hmm. or something like this yeah for your spirit uh -huh. <laughs> totally when i was working there from 5 30 a.m when i wake up the time when i return home it's around 7 30 so it's more than yeah, it's more than 12 hours. What did you do after work? After work, you know, you have you have no power to do something. You just lie down on your bed mm -hmm. like sofa, probably drink one or two beers to relax, and then fall asleep. And then next day the same. The same. I imagine you are just exhausted, extremely tired yeah, after this whole working nice. day. You cannot do anything. The next thing we are going to show you is what we're going to show them. So that would be some kind of life hack how to save the time to go in to the different floors in the construction area you can use the stairs but it, it takes a lot of time to go to that stairs then to go up to go from the first floor till the fifth floor it takes maybe five minutes but everyone care about the time because time is money and some people they do some kind of dangerous way to go to the top and I would like to show you like we have a lot of metal things like that in the mm -hmm. construction area you're going to show this way right yeah for okay. example we are on the first floor i'm here this is the ground floor mm -hmm. let's go this is the first floor then you go to the the third floor wow 
this is tough. Yeah, till the fifth floor. It's not so hard, by the way, because on the construction area is not so high. It's especially easy for Vietnamese people because they are not tall, mm -hmm. so they can run through that through that tunnel super fast. Mm -hmm. But for me, like if I want to go through that tunnel, I cannot run. I just go like that. Uh, you need to so my back super painful, like old grandfather. So if you need to carry some heavy things, so like you can go the same way. No, not exactly. If you need to carry something really heavy for example one worker on the first floor another on the second the mm -hmm. third one on the third and yeah. you pick, pick up that heavy things and give to one guy and the one guy give to another one and it's like that you have to be really strong to do this kind of job because it is not easy you know to climb to carry all this you know heavy stuff there is one plus of that job it makes your body really really strong and powerful you will feel that maybe in like two days how stronger you become what was your salary how much money you can earn working in the construction site as foreign i've got the same salary as local people as Taiwanese people mm -hmm. it's 33,000 000 feet per month then if you keep going to work it's plus 1000 until your salary would be 45,000. I don't know how about Vietnamese people, how much money do they get, mm -hmm. but all the guys who work there, they really hard workers. Everyone has family, mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of kids, so they really depends on, on that job. They work bad, they cannot keep their families in Vietnam. Were there any Taiwanese people there? It was maybe two or three Taiwanese, but they seem like managers there. They control mm -hmm. Vietnamese and mm -hmm. Why did you decide to quit this job? The main reason why I quit this job is because I started to have a problem with my skin. To work under that extremely sun is super dangerous for the white skin which I have. If the doctor says to me, if I keep going to work like that, I can have the cancer of the skin really quick. Yeah, you may still get some skin cancer. Right now I'd like to show you how the workers rest. We have one hour, this is lunch break, probably it takes 15 minutes to take a food and then everyone like to take a nap. So we usually just lie down on the ground like that, use some kind of stone like a pillow and rest like that <sighs> for 45 minutes. One and As I said, all of my colleagues, they are Vietnamese, so uh, the communication is really tough. And because I don't understand them, uh, sometimes they become angry on me because they think I'm stupid. They try to sell, tell me something in Vietnamese language, but for, for sure I don't understand that. It was like few accidents when the guy, one of the guys, he extremely become angry, start to scream on me, something like, feel like where I am, what the fuck is going on? So that was a really uncomfortable situation, so I just... I, I just go far away from that guy because he's out of his mind. Some people uh, during the job they they drink in alcohol, but that's probably uh, every construction area in the world. One of the most famous alcohol is for sure is Taiwan beer, and also they have some kind of 10% uh, energetic alcohol they mix with the lemonade. So that's quite local drink. It's very sweet and seems like it keeps your body, the body condition better. How did your managers treat you there? Well, this is Asia, Asian mentality. The manager never tell you something in person. The manager just take a look how the workers do their job. When the day is over, he give the mark to everyone and probably tell the boss, like, that guy is good today, that one is bad. What are you doing? Oh, so uh, this is, I, I just cleaned the floor because everything must be clean after we finish the job and usually that kind of job is really dirty and everyone pushed me to do that job. I was new there, the, the newest person usually do the most dirty job because Vietnamese they work there already more than one year so and I need to clean the floor then throw the litter. Seems like I'm an army, I'm a loser in army, yeah the same stuff. So they force you to clean after work? Or yeah, then, 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 you, then you stop doing that kind of dirty job, so I did that one. I want to say thank you so much for that opportunity to work in the construction area business in Taiwan. Thanks to my boss, thanks to the destiny. I appreciate the job of everyone, of, every, of my colleague. 
especially the Vietnamese guys, they work really hard. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. I really hope you liked it. Because he is the first foreigner who I met, the first foreigner who worked at Turkish construction site. It would be very interesting for you guys. Okay, bye bye bye, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.